Okay, Boo, are you ready to see? I'm so ready. Dude, it has been way too long. I'm still in New York working like a bajillion hours on this show, but we finally have a little hiatus and Trisha's runners have officially arrived. So I'm flying home in a few hours to install them. I don't know if you've noticed, but I am sitting in my beautiful new truck. Ladies and gentlemen, her. I wake up every day excited to drive to work, so that's a plus. Anyway, I'm only going for a couple days on this trip, so it's gonna be short and sweet, but I'm super excited to spend some time at home and finish off the stairwell, so let's go. Made it. I'm getting straight to work because I have a lot to do in a very small amount of time. We have our work cut out for us. If you watched part one of the stairwell makeover, you saw that I already paint and prepped the stairs. If you haven't, you definitely should because you need to see what it looked like before. It was rough. I'll put a link to that video right here so you can check it out. Anyway, I just gave the stairs a good vacuum, so I'm working with a clean slate. First thing I'm gonna do is measure out the run, which is the top of the step that you stand on. I'm gonna mark the center point and then measure 12 and a half inches on each side of that because the runners are 25 inches and then they will sit perfectly centered on the staircase. The runners are eight feet long, so I'm gonna have to do some cutting to match up the seams. I got three of them, which is 24 feet, so that should accommodate all the stairs and the top landing. I got some carpet tape, which is essentially just really strong double-sided tape, so that way I can lock down the runner before I staple it. And for the stapler, I got 18 gauge staples that are 9, 16 length. I also got some really large clamps that I'm gonna be putting on the bull nose, which is like the overhang of the steps, so that way I can make it really tight for when I staple it in. And yeah, I think that's it, so let's get started. super sweaty. This is like a full-on workout. Disgusting! All right, so I made it to a point where the first piece is installed, but it's a little bit too long, so I gotta cut it like just about an inch and a half to make it fit like perfectly in that seam. I made a little mark on each end so I can draw a line straight across, and then I can go in with an X-Acto knife and take off that little bit so it'll fit perfectly in there. I have to cut it as I'm going because I'm stapling it in, so I'm going to be using an old vinyl floor tile from the main level just to cut on so that way I make sure I don't cut into the new runner or the staircase or anything like that. I'm also using an old 1x2 as a guide so that way I can keep the line as clean as possible. <music> it's done that was a little harder than I expected it to be but it's finished so that's what matters we bought a little bit more art to go in the gallery wall so I'm gonna hang that and then this stairwell is officially done so yeah let's take a look
so much for watching. I wish I was able to stay in our cute little house, but I'm actually already back in New York with these super textured walls. I gotta say I totally underestimated how intense installing these runners was gonna be. It was literally down to the wire to get this finished, so I'm really happy that I got it done. I have about seven more weeks of work on this show and then I will officially be done. I have a lot of stuff planned that I'm gonna be doing on the house, so thank you for your patience since I haven't been posting a lot, but I will definitely make it up to you. I would definitely love if you give this video some love by hitting that little like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and stick around to the end of this so you can see Trisha's reaction. All right, that's it. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, here we go. Oh my God. I wish it was better lighting, but you know, at least this is kind of giving you a little light. It's lighting. amazing that I'm just happy to see you with some color in there. I think it's cool that when you walk around the corner, it's this like art installation on the stage. Yeah, yeah, it's a total statement. Thanks for getting up early to look at this since I have to be on the early flight. I appreciate you taking the time. I'm just surprised you got it like so quickly. Yeah, I mean, when I found out that they arrived, I was dying because I wanted to get back and do it. So I'm glad I had this little hiatus to like. Yeah. Take the time. I wish I had two more days because it would have been a lot easier, but I got <laughs> it done. So it's all good. You're legit, Bill. You don't mess around. I'm glad you like, and I'm glad there's a bit of me there since we I can know. Know every day. It, it makes me so happy to have you in the house. It's cute because I have, you know, your little worry doll upstairs and I have what else do I have here? I have your rug in the entryway and I got that new rug that I'm excited to put down. You're a master creator. I'm so proud of you for um, dreaming up the space and grateful that you found a spot for me to be in that beautiful home of yours. Thanks, boo. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>